the A1 test will have 15 questions on general engine diagnosis. That makes up 30% of the test. We'll start with diagnosing the causes of unusual engine exhaust colors. Black smoke indicates that the engine is running too rich. Causes can be an injector that is mechanically stuck open, a bad fuel pressure regulator, or a restriction in the intake or exhaust systems. Blue smoke is due to oil being burned in the combustion chamber. Causes can be a clogged PCV system or a turbocharger with bad seals. If the blue smoke is only seen on cold starts or after accelerating from a stop, that could be from worn valve seals. If the blue smoke increases during acceleration, then this could be due to worn piston rings or a worn cylinder. White smoke is due to coolant entering the combustion chamber. Causes can be a blown head gasket or a crack in the block. This is not to be confused with white smoke seen during cold temperatures with the heater on. Let's end this section with two official ASC practice questions. The engine produces blue smoke when accelerating from a stop. Technician A says that worn exhaust valve guides could be the cause. Technician B says that worn exhaust valve seats could be the cause. Who is right? Answers to these are found in the video description. Number two, an engine is overheating and has white smoke coming from the tailpipe. The cooling system is pressure tested and will not hold pressure. This could be caused by, and this one should be really obvious, white smoke, cooling system is not holding pressure, pretty obvious. Next is the cylinder power balance test. This is used to identify a weak cylinder. A weak cylinder will not contribute as much to engine speed. On modern vehicles, you'll most likely use a bidirectional scan tool to perform the test. The A1 focuses more on interpreting the results. Here's a six cylinder engine with the resulting RPM drops for each cylinder. General specification is all cylinders should be within 10% of each other. Cylinder number three is obviously having an issue. Another general specification is to further inspect cylinders that only drop 50 or less RPM. Causes of low RPM drop can be from the ignition system. Maybe the spark plug is worn. Maybe the coil for that cylinder is weak. From the fuel system, maybe the fuel injector has debris stuck in it and from compression issues. These are mechanical issues that lower compression, such as a burned valve. So, you identified a weak cylinder. Next test would be a cranking compression test. The A1 focuses more on interpreting the results. Here's our readings from a four cylinder engine. Standard compression for this particular engine is 192 PSI, minimum, is 134 PSI. Maximum difference between cylinders is 28.5 PSI. Here cylinder number four is above the minimum but fails on the maximum difference. Here's another scenario. Two adjacent cylinders have low compression. For the test, this is usually a blown head gasket. Here's another scenario. When the compression does not meet specifications, you can move to a wet compression test. This involves adding a small amount of engine oil through the spark plug hole and retesting that cylinder. In this scenario, the compression increased to specifications. This shows us that the piston rings or cylinder wall may be worn. To fully narrow down the cause of low compression, you can do a cylinder leakage test. The A1 could ask about the procedure, The important thing to know here is that the cylinder leakage test should be done 10 minutes after the engine is ran at operating temperature and have the piston at top of the center on the compression stroke. The general specification is leakage under 20% is acceptable. If air is coming out of the tailpipe, then there's a problem with the exhaust valve. If air is coming out of the throttle plate, then there's a concern with the intake valve. If you see bubbles from the radiator or even a reservoir cap area, 
or if you hear air coming out of an adjacent cylinder, suspect a leaking head gasket. If air is coming from the oil fill cap area, suspect worn rings. The A1 test can also bundle these tests together and ask about an issue. Here's an example. We have power balance readings, compression readings, and leak down percentages. The question is, a DTC of P0303 misfire on cylinder 3 is set. Which of these could be the cause? A leaking injector on cylinder 3, an open spark plug wire for cylinder 3, one piston rings on cylinder 3, or burned exhaust valves on cylinder 3. Well, compression shows normal, so you can rule out C and D. That leaves only two choices, and cylinder 3 had zero RPM drop during a power balance test. An open spark plug wire would do that. And we're going to end the video with three official ASC practice questions. To save video time, we're going to put these one right after the other. So you can just pause the video and look at each one individually. And that's it. Tune in to video number two. We'll talk about the valve train.